what's up guys welcome back to acorn ridge today's video is going to be a little bit different we just wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about our lives yeah. i'm chris and i'm 19 years old and i'm nate and i'm 21 and we've actually grown up in eastern oklahoma and lived here our whole life we live right across from fort smith arkansas so it's right on the arkansas and oklahoma border right. we're only like 30 minutes away from arkansas so Sir. We're pretty close to the border up here, and our land actually borders the um, Ozark Mountain Range, so yep. that's pretty cool. Yeah, and we actually originally were from a place called Redland, and we lived there for about, what, 16 years? Yeah, yeah, probably about 16 for you and 20, 18 for me. Yeah, yeah, I lived there for about 16 years, you lived there for about 18 years, so uh, we've been living here about three years and uh so far it's great you know we built a lot of stuff up here right our parents actually bought this land about five years ago yep and then they saved up the money to actually build a house up here that was the whole thing just to get out of debt and all that stuff right and they built them a house that they own and we lived there with them for a little while and right then, because we was only i was only 16 when we moved up here you know right. so we still lived with them and you was only 18 so mm -hmm. we were still in the age of going to school and stuff and getting our degrees and right. all that you know and then now Chris has his own house and I have my own house and it's the tiny house that y'all have seen right, on yeah. our videos. Yep. And you guys haven't actually seen my house which is the one we're in now but uh, yeah we will be showing you guys that shortly. I'm going to get, I got to get a few things finished up like trim and stuff like that and uh, I got to finish out a loft in here and I'll for sure keep you guys updated on that but uh, yeah it's just, it's all a process you know. Right. It's basically the same thing as mine. It's just bigger. His is a 12 right. by 40 with a little porch on the front and it's just one of those portable buildings yeah and then he bought it and then we finished it out same thing that we're doing with mine yeah mine's just a little bit smaller because when i bought mine it everything the materials and stuff was real high so i yeah. had to get the smaller one because it was like 281 for it and his is only like three something so yeah it's and crazy you the difference yours, of materials was, uh right after covid right so all the lumber prices went way up Right, and but no I was we're both so. planning on adding on eventually, but we're just gonna like mine's completely finished. I'm living in it now, and we're actually gonna do a video on it, showing right. you guys like what it looks like finished and all that good stuff. Yep. And uh, on my house, I'll have it paid off. You know, in a few months, should be around November, I'll have it actually fully paid off. So, I want to get it paid off. You know, and get debt free on this house. And after that, then I'll think about you know making it real nice, adding on to it, stuff like that. You know. Right. Yep. and on my house i only owe about a year on it yeah and about a year it'll be paid off yeah so that's really good you know especially for our age that's one thing our parents taught us you know is to try to stay out of debt as much as cash possible. on the barrel that's what dad always says yeah so that's one thing we learned from them you know a good thing we learned from them try to stay out of debt as much as possible and that's what we're doing that's why i'm trying to get my house paid off and he's about to have his paid off so it'll be nice you know not yeah it's it. actually going by the word of the lord if you listen to that because god does tell us in the word to um never owe another man so that right. that's just wisdom from the lord and that just if you listen to that you'll be better off in life I right think. yeah there is uh you know circumstances that people fall into where they have to you know get in debt for certain things but as much as possible we're going to try to stay out of that i'm not saying we're going to stay 100 percent out of it but as much as we can we're going to stay out of debt you know right because i mean in this world it's hard to stay 100 percent out of debt yeah but because like we had to pay payments on our building and our land and stuff like that so right yeah but you just strive to be debt free that's what our main goal is is yep. to be debt free and start a homestead up here and that's yep. why we started doing these videos is just to bring you guys along with our homesteading and all that good stuff that we're going to be doing up here yeah and another thing is uh we own our vehicles too you know that's right. a good thing for our age is to own our vehicles which it is with a lot of help from our parents you know parents some people and don't grandparents have actually right. yeah some people don't have that but um for sure like i had y'all seen that 89 f-250 and me and my brother actually fixed that up and sold it and got my wife her car you know bought it and paid cash for it so that's one thing you know that we learn from our parents just another example of you know stand out of debt you know right and cars. basically yeah. everything we do like we just do by looking up videos and learning how to do it For we sure. just like we don't know how to do everything and yeah. i wouldn't say that i did yeah. you just gotta have be willing to do anything that's the main yep. thing yes sir anybody yep. can do anything if you just put your mind to it that's, that's all there is to it really yep and uh another thing about us is 
in school we actually played basketball. That's something we enjoy doing. You know, I still play sometimes, just pick up games here and there, shoot around. You know, Nate does too. Right. Just play pick up games, shoot around just for fun, you know, nothing competitive or nothing really. And uh we like playing the guitar. I started playing guitar whenever I was fifteen, fourteen. It was in twenty nineteen, so yeah. fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. And uh Nate started playing at the same time, so he had been 17. Right. He is two years older than me. Well, 22 months, so basically two years. Yep. And uh, we started playing 2019 and never stopped since. And I'm actually getting into playing lead guitar, you know, trying to learn more about that. And Nate plays banjo a little bit. Yeah, I picked the banjo a little bit. Not yeah. not as much as I want to, but just having to work all the time. Because we do work, too. Like, we work full-time. My dad has owned a remodel business almost 20 years or right at 20 years right yeah he's owned a construction business and it's just always been family you know that's worked for him sometimes here and there you have other people but mainly just people we know are family you know like i've been working for him on and off since i was like 12 years old right so. and you've been working full-time since you was what 17 yeah 17 16 17 same for me since right. i was 16 full-time worked for him three years and on and off i mean I've been on job sites whenever I was 10, 11 years old, you yeah. know. And it's just like, it's not like commercial or anything. It's just residential, residential remodel. Yeah. We just fix houses and right. redo old houses. All we do is fix. We we built a few new, but right. mostly we built, all we do is fix. We built, let's see, last year we built our food truck. We showed you all that, some videos on that. We built the food truck, a duplex, and a barn dominium last year. So. Right. Recently, we built more than, you know, in the past, and for us, that's a whole new experience, you know, the new right. construction, and it's a lot of, you know, learning, too. When and we did build, like, like Mom and Dad's house. We built that. We helped right. them with that. Yeah, we built all of our houses, you know, like you guys seen, Nate's house, we built that, finished it out. We didn't do the, you know, the drying framing. But, no, because uh, the buildings come completely finished right. on the outside, yeah. so. But we did all the interior, all the interior finish. finishing. And uh, that's the stuff that takes so long as too right. is the finishing. The framing usually goes quick, but yeah, we've done quite a bit, you know, and it's good to learn a trade like this. I know you guys seen the well videos too, and that's just something that we wanted to start. Originally, I was actually gonna build my house in that spot, Yeah. and I was just gonna was build gonna, it with the sawmill. Right, just build a house instead of getting, you know, a portable right. building. And we started digging that well because <clears throat> There's no real water source on this property. Like right. we use a spring-fed pond and we filter it and all that good stuff yeah. so nobody get... Your water never gets contaminated. Right. Or, nobody it's gets, always clean water. You right. Know. Yeah. But um, that's why we dug the well is because I wanted clean water. Yeah. And we also wanted content and we thought that that would be a pretty neat thing to do. Yeah, we actually, you know, we started in 2021 and we just, Nate said something about I'm going to thinking about doing the hand dug well you know just digging it for my house and i said well why don't we post it on tiktok right why don't we yeah that was actually what out. started that was acorn what started ridge. acorn ridge like, we got to doing tiktoks a little bit and then we was just like oh well what if we do a youtube about it right. and we think that would be pretty cool yeah so, so we started doing a youtube you guys can actually watch our first video if you go all the way down almost the first video almost three years ago in right. february it'll be three years ago and it's not the greatest video trust no, me it's just shot on our phone bad. we didn't know what we was doing yeah. we didn't have headphones we didn't know how to edit yeah all that good stuff so right that's all a learning process right though, you know it takes time i mean taking doing youtube it's you have to put in an effort that's for sure right. it's not easy like some people make it out to be you have to learn everything like there's right. you got to learn how to do your videos you got to learn how to edit them right and all that stuff yep so that's what started you know all of our videos, everything you see now, started with the well. You know, I just thought, shoot, why not give it a try? You know, and Nate was like, all right. So that's how it went. And then we it's started digging it. We thought it would only take about a year. Yeah. And then we on. started getting down into it, and we dug pretty good, made pretty good progress like the first couple weeks. Yeah. And then we just started hitting like this rock shelf of like. Yeah. What would you call it? Like shell. It was yeah. It's like it's like basically slate almost slate shell. Yeah, and it's just like a solid sheet of that. And so we decided to go ahead. Like the few videos back, you can tell we decided to go ahead and make our first rock shelf. Yep. And we're actually going to be finishing that within the next few videos. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And now instead of building my house out there, since I already got the house, my tiny house here. Yep. We're going to be building another rock cabin at that spot. Right. And that's just going to be a really neat thing. And we're going to build it completely off the land, all rock. And we're going to use cob, which is like 
a mixture of straw, yeah, clay, it's, it's, and stuff like that. And it's just an old technique that they used to use. It's basically uh, antique mortar, you know. It's just right, it's just before they had mortar, mortar right. they made clay. It's called cob. They mixed it with straw and stuff, and that just yeah. helps with the structure. And we're going to hold all our rocks together with that. Yep. And it's going to be a pretty neat build. We've done a lot of thinking into it and a lot of planning. And that's going to be, in the near future, this fall, we're going to be starting that build. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be an awesome build that you are going to want to stay tuned for, you know. Yeah, and uh, another reason why we didn't finish the well or get more progress made is because we um, built the food truck, like we said. And, you know, we put all of our effort into that and we was trying to get it going. You know, it cost a lot of money, you know, something like that to get right. it going. Well, we was trying to get out of remodeling is what we was doing. Right, yeah. Because remodeling is really hard and we was wanting to make more videos. So we thought maybe if we go into a food truck, it would be easier. But no, sir. Yeah. That's not the case with the food truck. It was yeah. harder than remodeling. Right. I, think. I mean, and, I'll tell you, whenever you're running a food truck with just a few people, you know, just as three siblings, you know, we was running it. And... uh you're working 60 We're hours working a week 12 hour days like five days a week so five to six you know just depends you know sometimes we work six days a week right. but if you're working 12 hour days 12 to 14 i mean sometimes you work 14 hour and days and whenever you're first starting in a business like you don't get the business you want so you're right. not making the money that you need to make yeah. so we was making less working more and it just ended up we sold it right and we got our money back out of it which was really good we got yeah. really lucky on it to get our money back out of it right but, and uh like i said though that's the reason that one of the reasons why the well doesn't have more you know done to it right right now because we got really busy and also i got married last november and uh you know it was just a really busy year for us so we really slowed down on even youtube and uh posting videos and yeah it's just life i guess right we're trying to get into a groove with making videos like right every other day we're trying to post and that's kind of hard sometimes but we're going to try to make it work yeah like because we're working full-time like out in the heat especially that's why it's hard in the summertime because yeah around here in oklahoma I don't, we're really glad you guys coming. don't know it's hot in oklahoma yeah, it's like sure. hot it's hot unless you live here or texas or one of the surrounding states right summer about kills you every year yeah especially if you work out in the heat like we like do like you're praising jesus whenever fall gets here yeah for sure fall and winter we like it you know yeah i love fall and winter yeah so yeah so we are going to be making more content because it is going into fall so there's going to be that's what we're planning on doing the cabin right and finishing the well out and we're going to try to go one or two more shelves in the well too so because we're wanting that to be a water source for the cabin that's what it's all yeah, going to be you know just in case you ever needed a water source you would always have it you know we are you know getting a well dug uh actual well dug pretty soon you know it's going to produce a lot of water and we'll so. show you guys that too yeah we'll bring Once you guys along with the process you know so our plans for the future are actually to do youtube full-time you know just youtube post videos you know for you guys put out content stuff like that we plan on uh doing a lot of traveling um maybe podcasts you know let us know down in the comments if you guys like the type of videos like this might maybe start some podcasts yeah we've been thinking about that doing like we don't have enough um subscribers on youtube yet to do lives but we can right. do them on tiktok so we're probably going to be doing that pretty soon a live on tiktok yeah so you gotta stay and tuned we're gonna for do that. podcast style just like us talking about our lives and interacting with you guys because that's what we want to do we want to get to know y'all and we want y'all to get to know us yeah and we are going to get a better setup than this right, right now this we're just, just in my living room you know we're just making it work because mm -hmm. Usually, you know, we'd have a table. And we some, are going to get one. We're going to get us a table and a couple of mics. Microphones, better chairs. But, but we just record with our phones. We don't have no fancy equipment or nothing like that. We just yeah. record with our phones. Like, we both got iPhones. Right. And we bought these mics, like, not too long ago. There's a video about that. And, I mean, we just do it basic. Like, we, we just, just make it work, pretty right. much. Yeah. Like, that's how we've always done. That's how we've always had to do. You we just work with make what stuff you have. Because, you know, sometimes you don't have everything you need like microphones right. i mean we're not cameras. rich by no means we just right. work for a living that's we just, all we do we're putting everything we can into it you know trying to get something out of it just we just get... we really enjoy making content that's why oh, yeah. we want to go into it it's just like it's not easy like a lot of people think making content and stuff is easy but it's just not like it's there's not. a lot of work that goes into it because 
you got to suffer for years before you even make a dime off of yeah, it. Yeah, we haven't seen because we haven't seen nothing yet. Ounce of profit, but we're not, you know, trying to get rich or anything. No, we're just, we're just trying to make content for you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully it gives you guys something to watch at home whenever you get off work or right because we re really enjoy making the content that's and we want to bring you guys a positive you know video right we're not trying to be negative and all that we want to be positive and bring right. you guys some joy in your life that's and maybe our... maybe you just inspire one person right. to pick up their phone and start a YouTube channel you right know? it could change somebody's life you never know yeah but that's our that's our really our goals is to do YouTube. TikTok full time, content creating, do some traveling, do some podcasts, just produce good videos for you guys. And of course, keep on making videos about our homestead. Right. That's oh, our yeah. main goal. We're wanting to get this place up here really like nice. a compound, a homestead, like right. just and prepare for the end times because that's what ultimately everybody has to do. You have to prepare for when Jesus is going to come back because right. he's going to one day. And another thing, I didn't know if you want to mention it yet, but we do plan on building a rock wall up front i think right. we've already mentioned it yeah, maybe we mentioned it before I think. one or two times we're going to build a rock wall up front and see how hard it is and we may end up going all the way around our five acres on this side of there's a big gully that separates our land yeah so and it, just it would be impossible to go down the gully like five but. acres from like five acres in the back so right. we would just do this front five acres and we're just going to see on the front we're wanting to for sure do it on the front and do Put a, a big full gate, rock wall you know and do a gate just because our houses up here are pretty close to the road. Yeah. Which it's an old dirt road that hardly gets no traffic, but it would just be real nice to have it closed off. The main thing for me, you know, I've lived up here for almost a year now, and all the dust in the summertime. Right. Yeah, the with dust the cars is pretty bad in the back and forth. It gets pretty bad, you know, on your get cars. Get your house dirty, your house. get your car dirty. All your filters and so your if we done a rock fence across the whole front it would just block off block off and probably all put that some dust. bushes up there right by the fence the and big then do rock a wall. big gate because i guess it would be more of a wall right yeah and it's, we plan on doing at least eight feet high yeah we're going to try to go like eight feet high just where it's privacy and we're secluded back in here in our right. little spot yeah that's the main but thing we like privacy. we're for sure going to do the front and i know it's going to be a job but we're going to oh, see yeah. how hard it is and then if it's not too hard we're probably going to end up doing the whole thing eventually yeah which that's in the future it's not going to be something we do right now or soon you know it could be right. years down the road for we are wanting to do the front pretty soon pretty so y'all guys will see a video on that pretty soon should be sometime this year or next year right and we do the rock wall on the front so just stay tuned for that along with the rock cabin that's going to be a big that's video. going to be sooner we're going to start that video sooner should be should be within the next month or so right we're going to start it and finishing up the first shelf on the well will be the next couple videos right so just stay so. tuned uh you know be a little patient with us guys i know we're not putting out as much content as we would like as y'all guys would like us to but we appreciate every single one of you, you know, watching our videos. It means right. the I world mean, to us. You every know? view helps us out. So, I mean, we've been doing this for almost three years. And every viewer, every person that supports us, we really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts, you know. We really appreciate you guys. So, yeah, just stay tuned and uh, just be patient with us. We do got big plans for the future. And every one of you that subscribes to us, it helps us out and you know just liking and sharing the videos that's going to help us out a lot guys right commenting on them anything any any type of interaction helps us out with that being said guys that's all the time we have for today's video if you guys like this type of content the podcast style make sure you leave a comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our tiktok at acorn ridge we'll catch you guys on the next one <laughs> guys welcome back to acorn ridge <laughs> Oh, come on, dude. I Welcome guess. back to Acorn <laughs> I'm Nate. I'm 21 years old. And I'm Chris. And I'm... Do you not know your age, dude? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but you just went out of nowhere. I'm Nate. I'm 21 years old. <laughs> I can't. You're making me laugh, dude. Alright, alright.